guys. Welcome to the check-in with our chicken raising video. There's our chicks. Uh, the big one there, Cluck Norris, he is a couple weeks old and our new babies are about a week. So, I thought I'd show their little small brooding area. This is just a tote. It has a heat lamp there, like for reptiles. It does not produce light, but it'll keep them warm. And they got a feeder, of course. And in this corner, a waterer. Now be careful when you're brooding with your waterer. You can see I got it raised up um, here. It's on a plate. That'll stop them from getting stuff in it. Um, also when they're real little, if you got a big waterer, this one's kind of small, um, but if you have a big one, you may want to put some stones or glass beads in where the water is. Because the chicks, when they're real small, they will get in there and drown. Um, this is really all you need to brood. If you got a tote and a heater and a, a feeder and a waterer, you're all set. And you can make the feeder yourself. It doesn't have to be a store-bought one. And for a heater, you can use a, a heat lamp like this. And they also sell brooder heaters. So I'll put one in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get these guys out and we'll take a look at how they're doing. Okay, so here's our pal Independence, born on Independence Day. And this is Cluck Norris. He's a, he was born before these guys alone. He's a descendant of a rooster I had that died. And then these two little guys are unnamed. We got a little dark colored one. little fluffy guy so if you have any idea for names for this guy in the dark one let me know well, that's what they're looking like now so if you're looking to get chicks I would suggest uh, maybe Craigslist and or, or Google and look and see if you got a local hatchery or in your area um, there's always tractor supply too. Stores like that have chicks in the spring. Um, you can get them through the mail too, but just be advised that uh, when you get them through the mail, uh, be ready when they arrive. Uh, make sure you got the brooder warmed up and food and water. Um, and be prepared that, you know, they could be injured on the way. So, you know, you may get into a situation where one of the birds is hurt or sick and you might have to dispatch it so just bear that in mind if you're ordering them through the mail all right guys we'll see you in about a week or so we'll check in on these guys and um, talk some more about chicken raising uh, if you have any questions don't uh, be afraid to leave a comment uh, or get in touch with me through email okay thank you so much for watching you guys take care and stay safe